this early morning, the wave is too strong, so today only crabbing, no fishing at all. Western edge on the commercial fishing boat. <laughs> wow, sea lion. So look at the first side. Across that pier, you see the bird is flying, the eagle is uh, flying around, you see a lot of a bunch of uh, sea lions, probably two or three dozen of them. Here and here, this is the one in space. And they want space and they just jump on. Look at the far side, there are two in the water, they're playing. Oh, they're cool. Okay. Oh, yeah. All those sea lions, you see them sort of coming in from the ocean, set on the pier under the sunshine to make them warm. Two crab pot try to catch Dungeness crab and uh, red rock crab. We is checking for the bait and every 10 minutes you need to check it. And the first time check it, only one rock crab is keeper, bigger than five inches. In Westport, for the Dunsley's crab, the keeper size is six inches, for the red rock crab, five inches. Westport is a small township belong to the Grace Harbor County. Permanent residence there is around just a little bit over 2,000, probably one or 200 people. It's that population, so it's a very quite peaceful town, but very unique. This is a like, port for all the commercial fishing boats. In Washington State, there's advantage face to the Pacific Ocean and very close to the circle of uh, Alaska for the fishing industrial field. You will see all those boats, actually special commercial industrial fishery for fishing, halibut, salmon, rockfish, and also crab. They also have a recreation for razor crab. This is a very unique place. There's a also good place for Indians tribe. They also have a lot of properties around this Westport because there are primary people here use this land for their fishing and uh, set here for their life. By this part, wow, I got a lot of the Dungeness crab. Let me check the size. It's like, a, it's very good. It's not too small because the last part is a little bit smaller. But this one, super great. Let me check it. Looks like uh, so exciting. I don't know which one I want to check first. I, I see more than like a 2,000 crabs right in there. Yeah, a lot of small ones, but... Oh, looks like this is a good. Yeah, see, I just hold it. Keeper. Because I don't want others going, so only two is very big. 
you can see the smaller just uh, move out and uh, go into the water. I only hold the two, check that too. Oh, this is a nice one. I think <laughs> this is a keeper. Wait. Six and a half. Cross finger. Yeah, yeah it's more than six inch. Six inch. Keeper. Keeper two. That's the second one, right? Yes. Second keeper. Third keeper. See? Only two. Two keepers. I'm so excited. Wow, this seagull is very quick. I don't want that guy got my crab. I need uh, the smaller crab put into the water first. I only hold the one crab because I need to check again this guy, the size. So I need to double check it. And the high still coming and I feel the crab part the line too high so they need a more line you can see the water change is so quick Check size again. More than six inch keeper. Too small. Wow, Julie, you are sorry about that. Look at this pup, pink guy. Wow, so many crabs. Look at that. Beautiful. Far away, not close. Six, yeah, thank you. No, her touch check is Leo, right?
see it's a fish factory. Look at that. And then look at this guy. He's uh, separate the fish from that big tank. And uh, separate it there from the fish. Then put it into different tanks. Then they probably ship them to a different site. I actually, it's a busy, busy station. You can tell. So the boat, we're actually waiting here for food. We live in Westport for fishing. The time always was flying. Tonight we will camp in the Twin Harbor State Park and uh, our friend will join us. Uh -huh. Yeah. And the boat, yeah. boat base in there. And uh -huh. We didn't catch anything, but when we were um, talking to some guys that had caught a few, uh -huh. and they asked us if we wanted a fish, so we ended up leaving with a 12 pounder. Oh, really? Yeah. So, so that was nice. Oh, cool. We're gonna go back and try it again tomorrow. Oh. Um, okay. I have enough gear. If you guys wanna. Yeah, we might like know. to try that too. So. So you stay in the pier, just you right you in just the. Walk down onto the docks where the boats are. Yeah, yeah. And you just throw spinners or jigs. Uh huh. Do you see the fish there? Yeah, you can. If you have polarized glasses, you can see them coming. Ah. So. Huh. So how about Steve? Steve also got a one. What's that? Does Steve get a one too? Not today, no. Uh huh. You got a one. No, no. We neither one of us caught one, but we talked to some people and they. Oh, they, they got the one. Caught a bunch. Oh. And so they asked us if you guys want a fish. Oh. So. Okay. Um, but last time I was here, we were down here about a week and a half ago, and I had one on, but I lost it. Oh. You know how that is. Yeah. Um, so do you know the regulation here? Like can, a, it, it, down there on the boat base, and you can catch hatchery? Four, four coho oh. and two jacks. Okay. Have to be hatchery? Wild? Yeah, all of them that come back to the boat base are hatchery. Yes. Uh, It'll be a smoky. Yeah. Kind of smoky. Yeah. I just wait a little bit. Uh, so a lot of people actually couldn't put the campsite since the uh, razor claim is so busy. So we just finished the razor claim and uh, look at the pin and uh, it's cooking not cooking i'm sorry uh she's uh, cleaning uh the razor claim very nice once she had all the this uh, lunch box filled uh, with the four uh, with the meat and uh, actually she's uh, going to clean three more for our dinner time tonight so pretty cool and uh, on the grill let me show you we have something on the grill and uh, we're cooking the fish tonight. Okay. Right later, we have to cook right now.